Well, hello there, my friend. I didn't see ya. Uh, lately, I've been reading something that uh, caught my eye, so to speak. Uh, it's called uh, Gender Trouble by a Miss Judith a Butler. Oh, well, my friend, now that you're here, I suppose the best thing I could do would be to share with you some things that I have learned about sex and gender from a Miss Judith Butler. Let us begin, as always, with chapter one. Chapter one. Subjects of uh, sex, gender, and desire. Uh, I'd like to begin with a few quotes about the nature of uh, sex, gender, and desire. Uh, to begin, one is not born a woman, but rather becomes one. Simone de Beauvoir. Uh, number two, strictly speaking, uh, women cannot be said to exist. Well, uh, as painful as that is for my beating heart to hear, Julia Christopher, I cannot argue with you that, strictly speaking, they cannot. Uh, another quote. Woman uh, does not have a sex wise words with Lucha Irigre. Now, one of my personal favorite theorists, uh, the deployment of sexuality established this notion of sex. So Michel Foucault delivers that quote to us. And uh, finally, on an ending note, the category of sex is the political category that found society as heterosexual. Monique Wittig. Now, to begin with our uh, theorist of the hour, Miss Judith Butler. Mix Judith Butler, perhaps? Whatever pronouns you prefer, baby, I'm willing to employ. To begin, number one, women as the subject of feminism. For the most part, feminist theory has assumed that there is some existing identity understood through the category of women who not only initiates feminist interests and goals within discourse, but constitutes the subject for whom political representation is pursued. Wow. But politics and representation are controversial times. On the one hand, representation serves as the operative time within a political process that seeks to extend visibility and legitimacy to women as political subjects. On the other hand, representation is the normative function of a language which is said to either reveal or to distort what is assumed to be true about the category of a woman. For feminist theory, the development of a language that fully or adequately represents women has seemed necessary to foster the political visibility of women. This has seemed obviously important considering the pervasive cultural condition in which women's lives were either misrepresented or not represented at all. Recently, of this prevailing conception of the relation between feminist theory and politics has uh, come under challenge from within feminist discourse. The very subject of a woman is no longer understood in stable or abiding times. There is a great deal of material that not only questions the viability of the subject as the ultimate candidate for representation, or indeed liberation, but uh, there is very little agreement after all on what it is that constitutes or ought to constitute the category of women. The domains of political and linguistic representation set out in advance the criterion by which subjects themselves are formed, and with the result that representation is extended only to what can be acknowledged as a subject. In other words, the qualification 
qualifications for being a subject must first be met before representation can be extended. Wise words, Miss but Miss Mix Mister Anything you want. Uh, wise words, Mr. Butler. This concludes my reading for today. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen and queers.